Hi, my name is Paolo. I'm in Group A. We're going to be doing customer service. We're going to be showing you guys three scenes today. The first scene we're going to be opening up has a restaurant background. We're going to show how the waiter listens to the customer, shows empathy, and keeps them calm by asking open-ended questions. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Here's your dish. And here's your water. How are you doing, man? Um, is there anything else I can help? Yeah, I'll get a refill. Alright. Thanks. I'm gonna eat out there. Do you see something wrong with this food? Yeah, bro, what is that? Did somebody what? take a bite out of your pizza? Yeah. Look at, no look at way! That. Yeah. Alright. Call the waiter, man. Hey, hey, come hey, here. Come over here. Yes. Hey, bro. Did you you see something wrong with this food? Uh, not in particular. Uh, you don't see the, the bite mark on the pizza and the hair on my on the chicken? Ew, that's nasty, man. That's that's disgusting, disgusting, man. Cook took a bite out of that. Man, and this water, this water is terrible. It's, it's I mean, come on. It's, I'm it's sorry. Weird. I'm sorry about your concern, sir. Um, uh, we we I've been waiting here ten minutes and expecting something good and I get this? I mean, what, what's going on back there? I mean, I would have felt the same way if uh, I was in your position. Uh, However... Could I, could I speak to your manager or your cook or, or whoever's back there? Um, we're at rush hour right now and I think it would be very difficult well, to I bring mean, out the cook I'm a, I'm, a re I'm a regular at this restaurant and, um, you know, I never gotten this kind of service before. I'm, I'm angry. I mean, what, how, what are you doing back there? How often do you come? I come here three times a week. Yeah, we always. Um, yeah. Has this week. ever happened? Uh, no. No, this is the first time, and I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's some, some new cook back there, but. Yeah, we brought a few new uh, cooks. Well, I mean, I at least expect good food. I mean, is there something you can do, do for me right now? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I can get you a new dish. I can be on the house. So make sure they cut their hair. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm terribly sorry about your concern. I would I would feel the same way. It's unacceptable to have hair in the food. However, um, like I said, um, there's, I can either get you a new dish. You can be on that. You can be on the house today. Whatever suits you best. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, return food and um, get me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would um, right. make sure that never happens. Right. Yeah, at least bring my coffee. Yeah, here it is. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, I'll be waiting for my food now. In this scene, which takes place at an auto repair shop, you will notice that the mechanic asks close-ended questions to separate facts from feelings. Making sure everything's tight. That's what I am. I am done, man. It's all done, ready to go, man. All right. I already checked the oil. Yeah. Yeah. Do you smoke? Of Let's take a look at it. See if everything is good. Yeah. Well, that was already there. Backing up earlier, no, 
Okay, look. Hurry up, man. What do you have to do about this? I heard they came to catch up. Look, as a matter of fact, I actually have an extra light in the garage, and I'm gonna put that off for you. I'm gonna fix it. I'm not gonna charge you. Oh, this is gonna take about 10 minutes. As soon as I get it done, you know what? I'll even throw in a free oil change for you. How about that? Next time you come. You always come to me anyway, so. Yeah, that's not reasonable. No, I'm sorry about that. We didn't see that. Man. I would be angry too if it was my car. I love cars. Yeah, that's not right, man. Someone's trusting their car. Yeah, of course. You know, I'll get to it right now. You guys just wait like five, ten minutes, okay. and it'll be done. Sounds good, man. Okay. Hey, Zalvin, come on. I fixed it, man. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. You got the scratch, too. Though. And again, I'm sorry about that, and it's pretty good. Even though it's something small, next time I'll give you guys a free oil change. Sounds good, man. Thank you. No problem, man. Be careful. Yeah, well, you guys take care. Right, man. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you, bro. All right. Thank you. Let me close the hood for you. Thanks a lot. In this last scene, it's going to take place on a boutique shop. Um, we're going to see the sales rep suggest alternative solutions, agree on the solution, go the extra mile, and follow through. Hi. Look at my bag. Thanks. Thank you. 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 I just had lunch with my friends and they noticed it. I was really embarrassed. I apologize. I'm not happy. Did you buy that at the store? Yes, you sold it to me last week. Well, may I take a look at it? Look. You know, Prada is, is known for being uh, well-designed and well made Obviously they're known uh, for making crap. Look at this A. Look at I'm sorry, it's supposed to say Prada, but it does say Pra. I, I can't walk around with this. I apologize for that. Um, you know, I can check in the back to see if we have um, one. Can I get my money back? Uh, do you have your receipt? I, I don't. Okay. Let me check in the back to see. Our policy basically is that uh, we can't give you your money back without the receipt. But what we can do is exchange the purse. Let me check in the back to see if we have one. Would that be okay with you? Whatever. Okay, let me give let me give it up. Rick, we have a bag here, a product bag. It's the uh, platinum colored bag with the little colored stones. Do we have any in the back? No, we don't. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. going to the beach it with my friends. That we don't have any. What you could do is what I could do is then order one and have it for you next week. Um, would that satisfy you? What am I supposed to do now? Well. You're going to the beach. You know, we just have these new uh, Michael Core purses they came in. Perhaps you might be interested in this. Exactly. We also have this red one. Take both. Okay. So you say you're going to the beach? Yes, I am. Well, you know what? For your for your troubles, we also have these new uh, since summer's coming out. What we is have this? Alligator. Yes. Oh. Well. Yeah. This this might work on rollerblading on the beach. I can rollerblading. Great. Hat on. All right. So in conclusion, today we showed you several ways to deal with customer service. We showed you to show empathy and understanding. We also showed you how to calm the person down by asking open-ended questions. We showed you how to separate facts from feelings by asking closed-ended questions. We also showed you to, to suggest alternative solutions, agree on a solution, follow through, and go the extra mile.